Hey y'all and welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. I know this isn't the best angle, but in this video guys, I'm going to be cleaning the Chinese V1-1 air rifle. Okay. Um, we shot it yesterday. I know the glare from this light's horrible right now. We shot it yesterday. Um, I am going to be using a 20 or a universal like uh, cleaning rod to clean this thing with. Good for 22 caliber rifles up to uh, 12 gauge. I don't want to keep chopping off my head, but it's going to happen in this video whether I like it or not. Um, I tried using the um, little boar snake that came with the uh, Umarex air gun cleaning kit that I just did a revamp video on talking about everything that comes in here. But it was really, really hard to push this brush through right here, this nylon cleaning brush for a 22 caliber. And all I was trying to do was push it in there. So... We're going to use this rod, okay? Uh, $13 at Walmart, Hops 9 gun cleaning rod. Um, if you have a .177 caliber air rifle, then you're going to have to get a smaller rod, okay? But I like this rod because of its, you know, sturdiness. So really, guys, all I'm doing right now, okay, is just... Uh, this ain't the safest way to do it, but right now it's the best, at this angle, the best that I've got to do. So, I'm just sliding it down the, the barrel here, okay, until it comes out. And pull it back through a couple of times. Hopefully I don't hit a lot of stuff behind me. All I'm trying to do is loosen up stuff. So with these Chinese air rifles, you really want to clean them because you don't know what kind of chemicals are down in the barrel, how long they've been stored, anything like that, okay? And uh, I only use nylon brushes on my air rifles um, some of the barrels are made out of soft metals brass things like that so you don't want to put a metal bore brush down the barrel of an air rifle you will scratch the living crap out of it and i say that in every cleaning video i talk about or anytime i talk about air gun cleaning kits this is what you don't you don't want to use the metal ones okay now all i do next okay I would use patches if I had a, a, a patch thing, but right now I think I'm just going to use a bore mop, 22 caliber bore mop. All right, screw it on just like that. There's multiple ways to do it. I have a patch ring I could use if I wanted to, but right now I'm going to take some of this Air Venturi MP5 oil, okay? This is specifically made for air guns by an air gun company, all right? And so it's not going to damage any of your seals or anything like that. You don't want to use REM oil or lupus oil or anything on an air gun. Uh, especially because if you get them on them seals, it could ruin your seals in your gun. Okay, so then you're going to squirt a little bit on the bore mop here. I'm not worried about the table. I have my Allen gun cleaning mat um, on the, the counter here. And then I am just going to push it down the barrel, which now... It doesn't want to go down the barrel for some reason. Let's try it the other way. It is not wanting to go down the barrel at all. So that's I'm not gonna end up breaking it. Let me find my uh I have another cleaning rod and I do have a plastic loop or a metal loop thing I'm gonna put on here and let's try that. So let me pause this. Guys, I don't I've never used a 22 caliber bore brush in here. Um this is a Chinese made air rifle. It you know it should fit down there, but I'm not gonna force it and break it. But I do have this Pro Shop Pro Shot, same brand as this, um patch loop here. And I'm just gonna put a 22 caliber patch on there. Okay, and uh, or two, and I'm gonna try to do it that way. Put, again, I'm gonna put some of this uh, MP5 oil on there by Inventory. Okay, I wasn't expecting that little hiccup in the video, but I only got like two to three patches here. Pull them through. All right. Put some oil on it. There we go. 
Now I'm going to run this down the barrel. Hopefully this don't get stuck either. Oh man. Okay. Let's try it the other way. Hang on guys, I'm having difficulties with this video. Guys, now this is why I don't make a lot of air rifle cleaning videos because I always mess up, but I had one too many patches on there. This will fit down the barrel now. So pretty much you're going to take the patch saturated with your, your oil, okay? And you're going to run it down the barrel, okay? Just like so, back and forth, okay? Look at that. Look how dirty that is. Now that might not be dirt. That might be a chemical called cosmoline, what they coat these barrels in that uh, keep them from rusting on the inside while they're stored at the factory. Okay. And uh, I will continue to run these things down. I learned only put two patches on there, one or two patches on there. But um, I'm going to take one of these that I've already saturated from before and put it in here too and keep going down the barrel a lot of times it's not like gunpowder because these are not this is air that's compressed through this air gun it could be cosmoline or whatever chemical they coat the pellets in to oxidize the pellets so every time you shoot this gun all right it's gonna leave that deposit in the barrel and kind of season the barrel I guess is what they call it and I just keep running patch through till it's not dirty anymore one thing about this rod is it doesn't like to stay together very well so keep on going Now after this time, this is a well, patch that's also got oil on. This is why I don't like making these videos anyways, because I feel like a lot of time of me just fumbling around on camera. So only, like I said, one to two patches I've learned. Okay. Again, all I use is Air Venturi's MP5 oil, because it's not going to damage your seals or anything on there. Now I'll take a dry patch, okay, and I'll run a dry patch down through there a couple of times and clean up all that oil. Now you guys are probably wondering why I didn't completely break down the barrel. It might have been easier. I didn't feel like having to go outside. I live in an apartment, so going outside and shooting isn't always the easiest thing to do. Going out and shooting isn't the easiest thing to do. Why do I clean my air rifles? There's a lot of guys that never clean their air rifles. Well, I think accuracy. It helps your accuracy a lot. And, uh, yeah. So. Here's what the dry patch looks like. Right here. Not too bad. I'm going to probably run one more down through there. And then I'll get to what I'm going to use the silicone spray for. So. In my opinion, bore snake over a rod. I prefer a rod. More leverage to it. Um... Sometimes they're a lot cheaper, but, yep. Like I tried to use that wire brush that came with the Emrex air gun cleaning kit, and 
I just couldn't get enough force to push it down in there. I'm kind of wondering why that swab didn't work. This is 22 caliber bore mop, I mean. But uh, yeah, pretty much that's what I'm left with right here. Pretty clean guy. So let me shut this real quick. All right, so I can see the spring down inside here, right? And I want to lubricate that spring, but I don't have any grease to do it with. But I figured I'd take some of the silicone spray here and spray it down in there and let it work, okay, inside the gun. Kind of coat it in there, let it work its way up and down in there, and uh, that's pretty much how I'm gonna lubricate that spring in there. It's silicone spray, so I used it on my other air rifles. It shouldn't be bad for your spring. A lot of guys use like Molly grease and things like that. Well, I don't have any, and I'm not a big fan of uh, spraying. Spraying, uh, not spraying, but taking apart the guns. That's just me. And I just let it work its way in the crevices and stuff here. And it should be good to go. This isn't really a scientific video. Um, I learned how to clean rifles when I had a 22 bolt action, so... Um, y'all remember i hope this helped somebody maybe it did maybe it didn't i don't know i just figured i'd make a better cleaning video considering the one i did originally was with that shaky camera footage and everything so y'all remember like comment subscribe jesus loves you and i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching